This meeting is being recorded for Governor Lamont's Executive Order 7B. Good evening, everyone. I apologize for the slightly late start tonight. <clears throat> Welcome to the November 10 meeting of the Weathersfield Historic District Commission. For those of you who have not been here before, tonight's session is composed of two parts, the public hearing and the public meeting. In the public hearing, we will ask each applicant in turn to come forward and explain their application in detail. This will give us the opportunity to clarify what you are proposing to do and for you to ask any questions. Also, commissioners have an opinion or suggestion based on their own feeling. However, a vote is not taken until the public meeting following the public hearing. In the public meeting, which is not open to public comment, we will deliberate your application and decide how to act on it. We may approve it, approve it with stipulations, table it for further consideration, and in rare cases, we may deny it. You are welcome to stay for the public meeting, but you need not do so. The results of tonight's meeting will be available from the Weathersfield Building Department office tomorrow at 860-721-2839, anytime after 9 a.m. Please be advised that the Historic District Commission approval does not preclude the need for any other building permits, such as zoning, inlands and wetlands, or the building. Please contact the building department to review other permits that you may be that may be required before you begin your construction. With this, I will act, ask acting clerk, Claire Mead, to read our legal notice. Legal notice, Town of Weathersfield Historic District Commission. The Weathersfield Historic District Commission will hold a virtual public hearing on Tuesday, November 10, 2020 at 7.30 p.m. on the following applications seeking a certificate of appropriateness. Application 5080-20, Melissa Steltzer seeking to install a wood hanging sign on existing post with white background, black lettering, and border at 165 Main Street. Application 5081-20, Nicole Hart seeking to install a four foot high privacy, wood privacy fence around rear yard with a gate on each side of home at 13 Harmon Court. Application 5082-20, Great Meadows Conservation Trust seeking to install pressure treated pine split rail fencing along Southwest property line starting 35 feet from the street and extending approximately 70 feet at Middletown Avenue Wood Parcel, lot number 242002. Application 5083-20, Jeff Schwartz seeking to install 16 roof mounted solar panels on front left roof and rear roof of home at 55 Center Street. Application 5084-20, Paula Sella seeking to remove two windows on barn next to forward facing garage windows and replace with tongue and groove siding to match existing at 32 Hartford Avenue. Application 5085-20, and I apologize for the pronunciation here, Mamalani Awana, I hope that's, I hope that's appropriate, seeking to install 31 roof mounted solar panels on rear roof of home at 35 Garden Street. Do I need to read the rest of that legal notice? No, that's it. Thank you. Kim Wolf, duly authorized. Um, just for the record, it's 315 Garden Street on that final application. Thank I, you. Um, Excuse me, this, this is uh, Matt Dubois. I didn't hear my application read there. This is regarding 164, 166 Main Street. Matt, it's Kim Wolf, only the new, um, the new things go into the, the new applications go into the legal notice. These okay. are just the new applications that are being heard tonight. Okay. I pop. Oh, so there, so I'm not being heard tonight. No, oh. you're heard. You're just okay. you're just table from a previous meeting. So the legal notice just is the new, oh, okay. new applications that are being noticed. I apologize. Thank you. No, how could you know? All right. Okay. With that, we'll get started. Um, application 5066. Joseph at 57 Middletown Avenue. Is someone here for that? Hello. Yes, I am. I'm his wife, Jennifer Carey. And uh, what were you 57 able? 57 Middletown Ave. I'm sorry. You wanted to know if we still had the old windows, and my husband doesn't. He threw them out. He doesn't have them. I looked all around the back in the backyard and everything, and I didn't see any of the old windows. Okay. Did you speak with him about it? I did, and he said that he did. He threw them out. 
but I just double checked. Like you asked me to, you said, cause you said to go in the back. I don't know, you know, so I did, I did double check and I didn't see anything. Okay. And he said that he got rid of them. So. Okay. We're, we're coming up um, on our last day to act on this. And, you know, we discussed some at the last meeting, the fact that um, what you've put in does not at all replicate what was there before. Um, did you discuss with your husband or have you given any thought to how, what else you might do to make those windows look more like what was there previously? I mean, I know it's because it's because the wooden slats or whatever inside of the double pane, that's the problem that you guys have with the windows, correct? That's what I was foreseeing. Any is that that's pretty much what you're upset about, right? Um, Hello, I'm sorry. That's one of the issues. Yeah, um, I, I'd like to hear from some of the other commissioners. It looks like some people are still muted. If you don't realize you're muted. Oh, I'm muted. No, no. <laughs> Some I'm, of the sorry other. About oh, I'm like, oh, wait a minute. We're talking. <laughs> sorry, that was silly. I apologize. <laughs> that, okay. um, I mean, I don't mean to sound kind of stupid. Is there any way that if we put the wooden slats on the outside of each of those windows on either side, would that work for you guys? Or because it's the double pane, it won't work. Like, I, I wish he was home and he could help me with this. I'm so sorry. <laughs> He's not the even... Well, no, he's not. He's still in Florida. This is my main problem. <laughs> so I, that's one of the reasons why I really can't even do anything because I don't. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to overspeak anybody. You're good. I think that we can deal with the issue of the uh, unavailability of the uh, uh, applicant uh, in the public meeting. Thank you for letting us know uh, that he's not available now. If you have an idea of when he'll be back in the area for any kind of extended period of time, that would be good to know. Okay. As, um, and, then, and then as far as adding um, grills to the outside of the glass, your biggest challenge <laughs> will probably be the sliding windows. Uh, because Is, so that's a problem. You don't like the sliding, okay. No, no. Uh, what I'm saying is, is that adding grills to the outside would normally be a, a, a solution worth considering, but oh, it's all okay. a challenge when uh, windows uh, are either slide. and slide over each other or are sliding side to side like these are because there are. tends not to be enough clearance for that um, uh, grill to be applied. Although sometimes arrangements can be made to make that work. So. Thank you for um, what you've said to us tonight, and uh, I won't go further at this point. Okay, I'm I'm sorry. Like I don't. My husband should be home in the next probably within the week. His father had a stroke, so he's been dealing with a lot in Florida. It's not that he's trying to avoid you guys or anything like that. It's just been. Uh, oh, um, understand. Thank you. You've been so forthcoming. Uh, we're sure that uh, he is going to ultimately answer to you. Uh, well before he answers to us. Okay. So as of right now, we don't have to take them down then. We'll just wait for you to, you well, know, you'll let us know, right? You would let us know. I mean. Right. We haven't had the public okay, thank you. meeting yet on this, um, but we're still in the public hearing and just kind of talking about it. But I'm sure okay. uh, you'll hear a little bit more before tonight ends. And if you have more questions, you'll be able to talk to Kim tomorrow. Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks for calling in again. Um, any other commissioners with comments? Anyone from the public have any uh, comments or against this application? Hearing none, we'll move on to the second application, 5071 at 71 Center Street. Hey, everybody. How are you? Uh, this is Ryan Allison at 71 Center Street. Um, just to give everyone a background, um, a couple of weeks back, I had uh, my original application was Harvey, Harvey Majesty Windows, uh, 21 of them. And that originally got tabled and it got shot down last, last meeting. So we went back to the drawing board and now we're proposing to use Anderson 400 series uh, replacement windows, same thing, 21 windows. 
Um, other than that, not much has changed in the application except the, just using Anderson 400 instead of the Harvey Majesty series. Is the Anderson 400 uh, what's on the house at 66 across the street from you? I do not know. I know they have Anderson. I'm not sure what kind. Very good. And have you thought about uh, what size screen you're looking for? Would you be willing to go with just a half screen so that the uh, other half of the window would be visible uh, year round? Yeah, I think that's what we have right now, right, Paul? We have half screens right now. Um, he's muted, but yeah, I'm pretty. That's what we have right now. Okay. Thank you very much for refreshing my recollection. No problem. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Does anyone have any other questions on this application? Hearing none. Anyone from the public wishing to speak in favor or against? Could I just ask for a minute, Jen? Was the contractor here or is just the yes. homeowner? No, P PK Windows was there. Okay, thank you. Um, yeah, he's here tonight too. He's just muted right now. No problem. Um, my only question uh, for the contractor is, um, would, uh, is he satisfied that he'd be able to install these windows in such a way that the perimeter frame uh, wouldn't be visible from the outside. Uh, in, in other words, would it hide completely behind the existing window? The, this, uh, this particular installation, uh, uh, and it's shown on there, you know, uh, a lot of times they use a, a stop uh, that kind of hides the, uh, uh, the, the original stop, but we're, we're going we're gonna to keep that original. So you, you'll have all that detail with it. I see. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. great. And and these are these are actually, uh, you know, they're the, uh, the 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 wood right ones. So it, it looks even more to the period than than the than the, than the straight four hundreds. The sash themselves um, do sound a, a bit more promising. I was just inquiring because I wasn't sure if you were ordering the insert. Uh, type uh, sash replacement kit or a new construction window for the project? No, no, no. They are they are the in, the insert type. And uh, just one last question then about that: uh, when you install the insert, um, the does the bottom of the window end up floating over the existing sills that are built into the house? Yes. Uh, okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Although it's it it it's it's a very low profile the way that that ends up working out it it, it looks it looks very natural and very much a, a part of it when when it's so on maybe the especially, some, especially the way we do it yeah I was going to say maybe there's some sort of flange Doug, or Doug yes have you had a chance to look at page nineteen of our handout Pardon me I'll take another look thank you There's a very good drawing there and there's a number of notes that address how the window is going to be installed, what's going to be Excellent. saved, what isn't. Thank you very much. I will pass at this point. Thank you very much, Paul. I think okay, that thank was you. for me. Paul, and thank you, Vasek. Paul, could you identify yourself for the record? Yeah, name? yeah. Um, I'm Paul O'Doherty from uh, PK Windows. Thank you very much. Does anyone else have any questions for this applicant? Hearing none, any members of the public wishing to speak in favor or against? Hearing none, thank you again, guys. Uh, moving on to application 5078, the application for 164, 166 Main Street. Huh? I think you're on mute, Matt. You need to, there you go. There we go, sorry about that. Thanks for having me back. Um, so a uh, quick refresher on, on my application. It was for the, uh, wraparound porch, replacing that, um, really no changes sticking with the same, same material, um, outside of wrapping the, uh, the roof trim in Azac and adding the, uh, vertical slat skirt in Azac. I didn't hear any, any real pushback in that in the last, so I'm assuming there, there are no issues there. Um, 
the columns were were a sticking point, and I've I've conceded on that. Um, I found somebody who can who can replicate them. It's not cheap, but it's it is it's it's affordable. It'll, it'll be um, beautiful. I agree, and and I, you know I you know hearing hearing the arguments two weeks ago, it makes sense. I I've I've kind of turned on that one. So um, so really the only thing I believe I'm here for, assuming there's no issue with the uh, the wraparound porch and the roof around the porch, is the uh, slate replacing the slate on the main portion of the house before uh, you before you get to the roof i just have one sure. question about the asic if i could yep. ask sure. that, when you when you say uh the wraparound i i assume that what you're talking about is the nature of the porch's wraparound i assume Correct. are you going to abandon the the pieces that are there and substitute uh asic for the exterior boards or are you planning to apply ASIC to the exterior of the there no. now? Everything will be torn down and rebuilt. So so new framing that would be wrapped in uh, ASIC. So you're going to replicate the look of the existing structure. It's just that you're going to uh, replicate it uh, on the exterior with ASIC. Correct. Yep. Okay. Yeah. It, with really the only change being um, aesthetically the addition of a K gutter. Right. Uh, which uh, uh, again on page twenty four of the uh, of our packet, um, you have a picture, Matt. You've been, you've given us a picture um, of yeah. what the roof portion will look like, and that's what you're committing to. It Correct. is different yep. um, than than it is the the profiles are different than is existing. Um, but that's what you're committing to, correct? Correct. Yep. Uh, I mean, it, different. Because you've, you've added the gutter. Correct. Yes. Right. Yep. Yep. And and I'm going to replicate the uh, the columns. Yeah, the is. columns will be the the existing. Um, right. Very good. Thank you. So Don't that's page good. 24 of, of the packet. Correct. So should I should I move to the slate? Are we good there? Okay, um, so the um, I think why I'm here today is the I, I need to replace the uh, roof on the main portion of the house, and uh, it's about ten square, and it's simply unaffordable. Um, there's a, there's a few um, actually one comment was made uh, during during the last meeting that. It, stuck with me and I did a drive around uh, Old Weathersfield. I was able to find 17 properties without going on all the little side streets, but on, on all the main roads, 17 properties in Old Weathersfield that have slate and mine being one of them. And um, my, my house, 164, 166, is the only house with a slate roof that it is virtually unnoticeable from the street. Um, almost, I did send a, a packet with, with some updated pictures. I don't know if any of you have that. Yes. Okay. No. So it's a picture of every, every slate roofed home that I could find. And um, as you'll see in the pictures, the pitch on every single roof, whether it's a Victorian with a really steep pitch uh, or a colonial, whatever it may be, you're looking at slate from the street. And my house is the only one where really it's it's visible from one um, one area on the street. You need to stand about one one and a half doors down on one side of the house. You can see it. Um, it's also not necessarily a um, aesthetically unique or pleasing slate. Uh, I'm looking at a picture on one of the attachments I sent now from from where you can see it on the street, and it's almost unnoticeable. Um, it it actually in the picture looks as though it could be a uh, an architectural shingle. So for all those reasons, number one, uh, if, if there was no cost, um, you know, grievance, then, then I wouldn't, I wouldn't hesitate to put slate back, but it's, um, it's, it's prohibitive. Did you look at any other products aside from the pre-approved um, architectural shingle? Uh, I've, I've looked at a few. Um, I, I looked at a synthetic slate. 
uh, which there's it's, it's very minimal um, cost difference. Um, outside of that, I really would not want to put a three tab, um, three tab asphalt shingle. I mean, that that's what it, one of the pictures you can see that that's actually what's visible. Uh, when you're standing in front of my house, we have a little one story section with a three tab, which I'm not too fond of. Um, but I would be willing to do that. Are you looking to match the GAF timber line that is on the back of the house, second floor? That's correct. Yeah, it'd be a charcoal. It would it'd be virtually the same color as as the slate uh, that that exists, and it would be it would match the uh, the addition on the back, which is on the same plane, and just as visible. Well, close to be as visible as the uh, the existing slate. Is that a uh, roof that's on the back? in need of, of uh, cleaning or care at all so that they match? Um, photograph. Not, it I mean, like that roof. a bit of moss there, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't think so. I was actually up there about a week ago. I don't, I don't, it actually is in pretty good shape. Um, how old is it? It's, you know, I guess it's, it's about 12, 11 or 12 years old. Yeah. Um, being an architectural, I'm assuming it's a 30 year life. Um, I, I would not be opposed to, you know, refacing that to match the main if that was a, uh, if that was a sticking point, but the color, our intent would be to match the color. So do you I, know if the same, I'm sorry, do you know if the same shingle is still available? Yeah, that's a pretty, a very, very standard, pretty common shingle. So Char I Charcoal architectural. I I'm sorry all the pictures mm -hmm. of all the houses with slate roofs it'll be a good index for us in the future um, and i appreciate your comments that most of all of them have at least a portion of the roof forward facing mm -hmm. and that yours does not um, but i will say you know the picture that you took obviously you're standing very close to it and i think you're considering the view from the sidewalk on the same side of the street but I don't think that you're um, considering the view, say for instance, where I was parked on the end of church, uh, Center Street today, looking across where you get a very clear, very plain view of the entire expanse of that side of the roof. And from the um, front public portion where people are sitting out on the Charles right now, you really do um, get a pr even better view than I appreciated at the last meeting um, having gone by and driven at it from another angle. I will say too, um, while it is less of a standout as a slate roof in terms of color variation and um, perhaps depth and texture, it is an unusual roof because the shape is unusual. It's almost a fish scale look to it. Um, it's got a little sheen that can't be replicated by an asphalt. So I do think it has um, some unique characteristics that we don't see elsewhere um, on those other slate roofs. You know, I, I do appreciate your comments. Um, I just don't happen to entirely agree with them. I'm curious to see what the other commissioners have to say, though, too. I, I, um, I also sat at that same intersection about 4.15 in the afternoon and um, you know, church, Center Street with May, uh, Maine. And um, there's a really lovely sheen to that stone. It's, it, it's completely different than the asphalt roofs around it because you can see a couple of others. Um, I, I, yeah. So um, it is helpful to see all the, all the other houses. It's fun to see um, a collection in one place. So thank you for that. Yeah, I would just say that at the last meeting, I think I was one of the people that remarked that it wasn't uh, very visible. I have to admit, I've gone back and taken another look um, and it is more visible than I was giving it credit for. And the sheen on it is something that I'll uh, indicate along with the pattern uh, is distinctive. Um, on the other hand, uh, it's still, distinguishable from some of the other roofs that uh, were photographed and brought to us. Um, I think in some ways it's maybe most similar to 
uh, the house on Broad Street at the corner of Rayner, uh, where the gable, um, uh, where the ridge is parallel with the road, and you can see it from uh, Broad Street. This is uh, a roof that you can see from uh, from uh, Main Street uh, and from that intersection with um, Center. The only thing I would say that makes me feel a little bit different about it, though, is that because it is a uh, essentially a, a federal style front to back ridge um, that still isn't particularly steep, although it's visible, I, I think that in some ways that roof is meant to cheat the eye to a certain extent. And what you're really looking at is the front facing gable, uh, at least in terms of what's supposed to be the primary element that you uh, that catches your eye. So uh, I do uh, concede to my fellow commissioners that the roof is more visible than I thought it was, but I still think that um, these roofs that are uh, front to back ridges uh, with a, a prominent uh, front gable, and in this case, a prominent front porch, distract the eye of most observers from the roof. Thank you. Thank you, Doug. Anyone else? Anyone from the public wishing to speak in favor or against? Hearing none, we'll move on to application 5080-165 Main Street. Hi, everyone. I am just requesting to do a like for like sign, uh, 165 Main Street. Right now it says- Can you identify yourself, name and address for the record? Oh, sorry, Melissa Stelzer. Uh, my address, my home address. Your business address is fine. Um, 165 Main Street, Weathersfield. Thank you. Um, so basically it's a like for like um, antiques on Main is what it is now. It's white with red lettering and it's not even a wood sign that's there. Um, but I'm just requesting to switch it for a wood sign that's painted white and then black lettering. The nutmeg home, same dimensions, which is 30 in height, 20 in width. And the script will be as indicated in the picture that you provided? Right, yep, that's the proof. That's great. Anyone well, else? Neighborhood. <laughs> Anyone else have any questions for the applicant? Hearing none, is there, are there any members of the public wishing to speak in favor or against? Hearing none, thank you very much for coming in, Melissa. We'll move on to the next application, 5081, uh, 13 Harmon Court. <laughs> Hello, Nicole Hart at 13 Harmon Court. Um, we are looking to put a four foot wood fence in that surrounds our backyard with um, gates on either side of the house to get to the backyard. So thank you for providing the plot plan that shows us where it's gonna go and where the gates are gonna go. You have a four foot gate to the right and then an eight foot gate to the left, is that correct? Yes, correct. Perfect. And otherwise the fence is uh, the same as the picture as submitted. Yes. And the good side will face out. Yes. Okay, great. Does anyone else have any questions for the applicant? I'm just curious. Uh, the rear property line takes a jog around the bushes. It's there's some big trees. There's some good sized arborvitaes back there that okay. And they're yours or the neighbors? They're ours. They're ours. Okay. Our okay. line kind of goes. It's it's before the property line. Like the arborvitaes are the arborvitaes on our property. property. So it's going on the fence is going to be on our side of the property where the arborvitaes are, and then jog out to the property line. Okay. I, I was just curious. It just yeah. struck me as most people. It's odd, yeah. <laughs> Very odd, yeah. <laughs> well, because we never straight we across the corner, so we can't really go down behind the retaining wall. There's a retaining wall in front of the arborvitaes. Yep. Okay. That's fine. Thanks very much. Anyone else? Anyone from the public wishing to speak in favor or against? 
Hearing none, we'll move on to application 5082, uh, Great Meadows Conservation Trust. Oh, you're on mute, Mr. Woodward. You have to unmute yourself, Jim. Down in the left corner, if you put your cursor down to the left corner, it should give you an option. I'm on my phone for this for oh, audio. We've got so. you. <laughs> yes. Okay. I'm Jim Woodworth, 33 Mill Street, um, with the Great Meadows Conservation Trust. Do you have anything to add to the material that you submitted already? I don't think so, unless there's uh, something missing you want me to fill in. I think you've covered everything. Does anyone have any questions for Mr. Woodworth? Look how easy that is tonight. I hear none. Thank you so much for coming in. You're so, welcome. Do any members of the public wish to speak in favor or against? Hearing none, we'll move on to application 5083-55 Center Street. All right, thank you and goodbye. Good evening. Thank you. Hi, how's it going? Hi there. Hi, I'm Greg. I'm, For the record. Uh, Greg Bowden. I'm the uh, owner of the, the dealer company that is doing the installation. And your business address? Uh, 35 North Main Street, Southampton, Connecticut. Okay, tell us about the application. Is the homeowner here also? Um, I'm not sure. Okay, go ahead and tell us about the application. Yeah, so it's a solar installation, uh, 16 panels. Uh, panels are about five by three and a half. Um, there will be some on the front of the house and then some on the back. I believe there will be about four on the back and remainder on the front. Um, they're not really too visible to the street, so you can kind of see the edge of it, um, but you won't really see the, the panels themselves. I'm not sure if they, uh, or actually I'm sure, I think they sent something in already about it like the, the packets or something. And in, in looking at the pictures that you sent in, it looks mm -hmm. like the mechanicals are running down the front of the house. The conduit? Yes. Yes. Yep. Um, we can paint the conduit to match the color of the house if, if you guys prefer. Can it be put on the interior of the house or run down somewhere else where we're not mm -hmm. seeing it on the front facade of the house? We can run some through, but there's not enough attic access to run it all the way through. And is there somewhere else that you can run it that is not on the front of the house? I can look and see if they can put them on the side. How about behind the chimney? Behind the chimney, I can check into that. Then would we have the conduit running over the surface of that roof? Correct. Oh, I see, see there's no, um, it looks like that's, is that the north or the east side? Is that why there's no panels there? Right, right. It's the, uh, it's the side that's getting the least amount of sun. It looks like there's one panel. Is that right? Hold on, I'm gonna look at it with you guys really quick. Um, no, that, that's not a, no. Oh, the dormer piece or something? Yeah, yeah, correct. So there, the, the four panels are on the back and then there's the uh, remaining panels that are on the front of the house on the, if you're looking uh, street view, then they're on the right side of the house. I think no. They're on the left side of the well, house. On the left side of the house. As you face. Yes, yes. So, so let me just reiterate, having mm -hmm. driven by and walked it, there will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 panels on the left side of the house, and then the remaining are on the back. Correct. And you can't get any more on the back. 
No, there's not enough room space. Um, however, if you if you want, I can actually share my screen. I have a picture of how they would look. Um, okay. What you can see, like, let's see. Uh, it says host disabled screen sharing. I'm not sure you're going to be allowed to. Um, IT department might have disabled screen sharing. We'll yes. Try it. Uh, yeah, it says host disabled screen sharing. What about the back? Um, addition portion of the house. You can't put any on that instead of on the front portion that we can see. On the no, because the uh, the the way the roof plane is set up and the uh, it doesn't get enough sun. Okay. But the the front of it, where it's you can you can barely see it from the street. I did look uh, across the street at I believe it's forty two Center Street. Um, which has center, uh, solar panels on them. Um, and you can actually see it a lot more than you would be able to see it on our system. Well, I actually beg to differ on that because of the pitch of the roof, um, it, it is going to be visible as you're driving down the street. So yes, you'll see it driving down. It just went up. Oh, also, across the street, and one thing that is, um, for me, problematic on these houses, um, that have unusual roof lines like this, oops, there we go, that have unusual roof lines like this is that um, you're not able to put them symmetrically. So across the street, you have a, a rectangle on a rectangle. And so it doesn't jump out at you because you don't have that jogging staircase look of rectangles on a triangle portion of a roof, if you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So, um, for me, both the pitch and the, uh, the view of the application of the, the rectangle panels is really going to jump out at you a whole lot more than it does on that house across the street. Um, well, plus the setback is different between the two properties. Aren't these panels going to be closer to the street? Sure. Well, so if you, I'm not sure if you, you're seeing where the panels are going to be at exactly. They're on that plane that is uh, that has that the kind of lip on it, right? Yep, right, right there. there. That'll be at. So okay. all you would see from there is the the actual edge of the panel. Uh, except that I'm not only seeing the house standing right in front right. of it. I'm also um, seeing it from two houses down across the street. As you walk down, as you walk down that street, right? You see the whole that whole facade view. Can we go? Yes. Yeah, so you can see it from there. Can we go over to the one across the street? There's a couple down, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's the one with the flag. Yeah, so from here you can kind of see the entire layout of the system. Yeah. And it, is, it has a jog, I think, Jen. The back portion does, yeah. yeah. I mean, I I have to say, and we can discuss this more in the public hearing. To me, that house is an uh, is an example of we tried solar, and actually, it's a real problem in the district when we can see it from the street. Yeah, I, I agree. I was. I mean, not... That's my personal. I mean, I'm I'm one commissioner, but to me, that's a that's a bad. I wasn't here, thankfully, um, but yeah. So. Thank you, though, Jeff, for doing the research in the community, in the neighborhood to bring that to our attention. It's a good thing for us to take into consideration as we look at your plan. Um, so let, can we just go back to the conduit? It, um, it's going to be going right down the front of the house. Is that correct, Jeff? That's the proposal, yes. OK, thank you. Uh, before we leave it, could uh, we go back to uh, Kim's screen share so that we can see the view of uh, this house uh, and just to confirm uh, this is Trinity and Trinity usually gives us flat black is that what's proposed here oh, this is this is not Trinity this is Sun power um, but yes it's all black okay I'm sorry I must have mixed up the paperwork and is the uh, is the housing that holds it also flat black or, or is that going to be um, Oh, yes, it's terrible. It's I mean, all black. Yeah, it's all black. We actually trim off the edges so there's nothing that uh, you can really see. And then we put black clips on them 
so you don't see the any shavings. Thank you. Kim, uh, would you mind going uh, in the uh, backwards here for uh, maybe just a half a house length so we can see that roof uh, from something other than dead straight? Thank you so much. There you go. You know, with the tree uh, there, um, you don't see as much, but I would imagine since this photograph was taken with the trees down, you will see some of what's up there. Uh, I do realize that you could make an argument that it's close enough to the street that it's hard to look up that high uh, and that the uh, house across the street, uh, because it's set back, you actually have a better sight line for it. But uh, that's the most generous way I could think of describing those two uh, properties that I think could also be interpreted in the way that the other commissioners have. I do really appreciate the uh, product uh, that's used here. And I think the other commissioners are onto something when they say um, ab about the uh, rear roof, because uh, isn't that generally a southern exposure on the on that um, on those back roofs? Yes, there's just not enough uh, roof space, so we wouldn't be able to put more. Like we actually maxed out the uh, the rear roof, even on the lower level of them. So and from just, yeah, I, uh, either there. Yeah, that's, I'm sorry, where we're thinking uh, behind that uh, ridge that goes side to side. Oh, I'm sorry. It's the other way, Kim. It's, uh, is there a pool in the backyard? Are we on the right house? Yes. 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 Okay. Yeah, my so, question is addressing that addition portion of the house, which would be yeah. significant. Isn't there a second story plan there? They are not doing the second story now. I see. At least not at this time, she said. Sure. I, I would just venture to say, sir, because I have a house that points in the same direction. Mm -hmm. And I realize this is your business, but I can only tell you that um, we get an awful lot of sun on that southern exposure uh, year round. Uh, and um, you might be able to make up the, the um, um, loss uh, or the gain um, by um, confirming um, that there might be an option back there. Yeah, I can work with the design team. One of the biggest issues with that Southern spot and using that panel um, or that roof plane is, is uh, there's trees near there that, uh, that are taking away from sun. I see. Okay, anyone else? Hearing nothing, uh, any members of the public wishing to speak in favor or against? Hearing none, we'll move on to applicant. Thank you very much for coming in. We'll move okay. on. Again, I appreciate that the components are uh, of the type that we normally are looking for. Thank you. Okay, just before I head out, this is my first time doing one of these meetings. Um, from from here on, where do I, what do we, uh, what do I look forward to? Do I do we look for an email or something from you guys? You can stay and listen to our deliberations and our decision in the um, public meeting that after we're done hearing the applications, or you can call the business um, office tomorrow, the building department tomorrow. Okay, all right, thank you. All right, thanks very much. No problem. Moving on to the next, 5084, 32 Hartford Avenue. You're muted, Paul. Paul was still at 32 Hartford Avenue. Thank you. Tell us what you're going to do today. Okay, we're going to remove two windows on uh, the barn next to each of the garage doors, which face uh, the street. And both on the first floor. Both on the first floor. Okay. Does anyone, and you're going to reside to match what's already there? Yeah, it's a, a pine tonguing roof. Does anyone have any uh, questions for this applicant? Hearing none, anyone from the public wishing to speak in favor or against? Hearing none, thank you very much, Paul. We'll move on to application 5085, Mamalani Awana thank at you. 315 Garden Street.
Hello. Hi there. Your uh, name and address for the record, please. Um, that was, oh, my name or the customer's name? Of course, if you're gonna be doing the speaking. Okay, for mine, uh, Momilani Awana. I live at 136 Markham Street in Middletown, Connecticut, 06457. Okay, tell us about the project. All right, um, so this will be a roof mounted solar array, um, 31 panels on the back of the house. Um, these are black solar panels. We also use black wrap racking and black end caps. Um, we plan to run the conduit internally. It will come out on the side of the house near the electrical meter. The electrical meter is placed behind the porch and is not visible from the street. Um, I do not believe any components of the array will be visible from the street. Jen, I, I just wanted to say that if it's uh, if she's the contractor, she can give her business address and her personal address can be stricken from the record. I'm, oh, same. Okay, sorry about that. Um, That's fine. So that would be Trinity Solar, um, Seven McKee Place, Cheshire, Connecticut, zero six four five seven. Thank you. Thank you, Doug. You bet. Thank you, sir. Back to the application. Yeah. So from the front, obviously, we don't see them at all. We do see them. Um, the house is two over from the corner. And so you do see them from the side street. There is a massive hedge there, which hides most of it. Um, yeah. Neighbor's property, although we do get a glancing view as we're coming up that side street. I appreciate um, I didn't look from the side, so I'm not sure. That's okay. I appreciate all the detail in the um, application, including the pictures and the layout on the roof, as well as the internal mounting of all the uh, mechanicals. Okay. Does anyone have any additional questions? No. Hearing none, do you have anything further for us? Um, no, I mean, if nobody has any additional questions, I mean, that's all there is to it. I, like I said, I haven't seen them from the side. Um, from what I could tell, as you said, there were hedges like um, that they don't necessarily block the sun, but I couldn't really see anything from the street. You know, I, I do have a question. Um, I'm looking at your plan and your most of your panels are on the lower roof. Uh huh. And there are not as many on the upper roof. Uh huh. Is there a reason for that? Could you move more of those panels to the upper roof that's less visible than the lower roof? Um, I'm not sure if we'd be able to do that with setback rules. Okay. Um, I, I'm pretty sure it was designed that way to comply with building code. Um, if there are any particular panels, like, do you mean like, let me check the plans actually. Um, if you give me a second. Um, do you mean like the panels on like the outer edges or the inner edges? Well, no, I mean, you, you, the roof has a little, a little um, shed dormer. I just didn't know if you could put any of the panels on that, that upper do shed dormer roof. Um, probably not more. Let me see. Let me see um, how many we could potentially fit. How many were you looking to move? It's just really visible as you come up Hubbard. And so I'm looking for a way to kind of disguise that a little bit and thought that maybe moving it to a flatter, higher pitch would be less visible. Okay. It looks, it looks like a complicating factor. There are three utilities on the shed. Roof. Yeah, I was just going to say there are significant obstructions on that roof. So I think that that would actually there if there's just one panel on one or two panels on it. I don't think that that would look great either. Um, yeah, as far as I can tell. Yeah, um, that they wouldn't be able to fit on the, that roof at all. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I did check. Um, yeah, that's just due to the obstructions, basically. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Anybody else? 
Hearing none, do we have any members of the public wishing to speak in favor or against this application? Thank you very much for coming in. Uh, with that, I will uh, entertain a motion to close the public uh, hearing. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, we have one more. Yeah, we have one more. Yeah, close yep. Garcia. Sharon Lane. Oh, right. I'm sorry. I have the wrong notice in front of me. Yep. I mean, I had so much fun the last time I thought I'd come back. <laughs> yourself, uh, name and address for the record, please. Phyllis Garcia to Sharon Lane. Um, and uh, I have a representative from Renewal is here, Hank Bester. And yeah, I know you guys, thank you very much. You approved the patio door, but at the same time, we were planning on changing three windows. So the windows that were going to be replaced was a shorter window on the north side on the first floor, the window above it on the, on the uh, north side, and on the east side, uh, the window on the right as you're looking at the east side of the building, upstairs on the right. So those are the three windows. The material is gonna be the same and the color would be the same as the patio door. If I recall correctly, at the last hearing, uh, it was established that um, this was a, a relatively uh, modest uh, change that was in keeping with the uh, building's uh, exterior construction and wouldn't be all that noticeable. Uh, is that uh, correct, fellow commissioners? Yes. And I also recall this person being uh, very generous with her praise of us, uh, although that doesn't influence. Uh, it was certainly appreciated. I didn't get a chance to thank her last time. No, and, and it came from the heart. I was not trying to influence you guys. Otherwise, I would have brought you cookies and you know, that, <laughs> delivered them to your homes and, and et cetera. But I, I'm sincere when I, when I said what I, I said. I understand. I understand. I just wanted to make the record that we uh, um, Thank you. Uh, we appreciate uh, compliments, but um, we can't reward people for them. Thank no, you. and I'm sure you don't get a lot of compliments either <laughs> if things haven't changed too much. So <laughs> we still strive for it, though, Phyllis. I know you do, and that's why I want to. I want to give compliments when they're due. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so now so that everybody. Hank is he Hank is here. If you have any questions, yeah. so that I couldn't answer the last time. Actually, I do have. Now that all the huggy feely stuff is done, I do oh, have a question. <laughs> uh, the I had absolutely no objection whatsoever with the patio door, simply because most of it is going to be hidden behind right. the right. fence. These three windows are much more prominent, and there'll be a direct comparison between what's there and what's there next door to in the other uh, apartments or condos. Uh, can somebody speak to? differences in look of the, other than the fact that these are going to be brand new and the ones that are next door have been there for quite a number of years. Kim, do you have a um, street picture that you could bring up for us? Yeah, you know, I don't know if next door they've replaced the windows or if they're original, but the frame of the windows that we are using is wider than what is of the original windows. So if they have the original windows, those frames are, they're rather thin. They're not very wide at all. Phyllis, our frames are nice and thin on the gliding windows, which we are replacing. Next door, they replaced with vinyl and the vinyl is a wider frame. Quite frankly, it's got more of a shine to it also. Ours will have a matte dark bronze finish, which will look much more correct than the next door neighbors. Okay. I mean, next, yeah, next door is brown also. Does it, is, yeah, but it's, color, it is, but it's a different shade. Okay. Yeah, the color is, the, the, we're not changing the color, but Vasek, I understand, but I don't know if next door, where you're, you're talking about, which is the unit um, south of me, if they have new windows or not, if yeah. they've ever replaced the windows. I, I never, I didn't look close enough to be able to say yes or no. I'm just looking at the photograph that was submitted and- yeah. it's, it's not that corner, K. 
Kim, it's it's the other corner. Further down? Yeah. Did the contractor already identify himself? Yes, yeah. he just spoke. I'm sorry, I missed it. I'm Hank Betzner with Renewal by Anderson. You've had many of us before your commission in the past few months. Oh, understand. I just didn't know if you had uh, given your business address today and your name. We're eight, 800 Corporate Row, Cromwell, Connecticut. So Thank you, sir. It's Kim. I, yeah, when I type in to Sharon Lane, it takes me across the street to the pond. So if you can direct. Okay, if you can. Yeah, can you move now to the left? The other left. Yeah, the other left. I don't. Um, yeah, keep going. Follow the blue line. Further? Right. Keep okay. going. Keep going. Um, uh, no, you're going in the wrong direction. It's um, keep going. Want a little bit more? Are you north yeah. or south of here? Like here's north, here's south. Okay. Oh, you. All right. Okay. Hold on, Kim. You're going way too fast. Okay. You oh, see where these, You see where these cars are? It's that building. Is it? Okay. okay. This building? Nope. You had your cursor on it to the left. That, that's the building. Okay. Let's keep going. Are we talking in here? Yeah, there it is. Oh, it, it's okay. not the one on the left. It's on the right that you really can't see because of the trees. Okay, hold on. Well, that's me... mine. Mine is on the right, but I think Vasek's point is the one on the left. Yeah, I would just. Right, Vasek? Is that the one you're wondering if, they, if the windows are going to be different? Well, so there's the face facing the street and there's also the facade of the building facing the parking lot with the person behind okay, the, Vasek, okay, that's you got two corners to deal with. Right, the one on the parking lot, there's our new windows and, the, and my windows, my new windows will, will be similar to what they have put in. Okay. All right, Adam, the one asking. over here, the one on the left here, where where we're looking at right now, which we mm -hmm. can't see the, the windows. I don't know if those are originals or if they replace the windows. Okay. If they've replaced them, then the new my new windows will be similar to that. Oh, that's it right here. That's it. Can that, you... Ours ours will look just like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Those look new to me. The ones downstairs look new to me, and I don't mean new, you know, brand. New. I mean replaced. Sure. That's a great picture right there. And that's what my window will look like upstairs, the two wide gliding window. Okay. Thank you. Anyone else have any questions? Hearing none, thanks for coming in again. Any members of the public wishing to speak in favor or against? Hearing none, I'll entertain a motion to close the public hearing and open the public meeting. All right. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, commissioners. Thank you. Thank you again. Thank you. Thanks, Hank. Can I have a motion, please. Make a motion to close the public hearing and proceed to the public meeting. I'll second it. All in favor, say aye. 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 Application 5066, Joseph Perry at 57 Middletown. I'd like to make a motion to deny. Would you consider without prejudice? Of course, deny without prejudice. And that will allow them to come back with the same thing and then we can hash out whatever. Have a longer conversation. Yeah. Would you, um, can I have a second? I'll second. Um, I think it makes sense. Um, Mrs. Carey uh, doesn't have enough details for us today. Um, I think that it, maybe something else can be worked out, but it's gonna take some more serious consideration and discussion than we can have tonight. Yep. This will give them the opportunity to come back without having to pay another fee. Um, I think it makes the most sense, um, Actually, you know, under circumstances. If I'm not mistaken, tonight without prejudice, they will have to pay the fee, but they can come back with the exact same application. Also to their benefit. Any other discussion right now? Hearing none, all those in favor to deny, say aye. 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 Opposed, the motion to deny carries. Application 5071 Center Street. I've abstained from this um, application the last two times because I missed the original and I will do so again this time. I, I will too. 
So you've got three of you voting. So I'm just curious. Uh, the application as it stands now is considerably different than it was originally. And you were both here for what is being proposed. That's true. You don't have to abstain at this point. It's been changed. All right. I'll vote. Just is trying to be consistent. Session? That makes sense. Um, Basak, thank you for pointing it out. Um, uh, for my first question, well, is there a motion here? Nope, for you get to make it. All right, I'll make um, a motion uh, to uh, approve with the stipulation that the uh, insert perimeter not be visible once installed. Since the representation was that it wouldn't be. I'll second. Uh, thank you, uh, Claire, if that was Claire or if it was Jen. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so I think that I had, uh, our, our experience with this most recently reminded me in my discussions with the historic district coordinator of how we had uh, for some time been approaching uh, applications like this, uh, talking about the execution of the installation uh, as opposed to the, the window product. Uh, we're not always going to be in a position where we can, uh, can avoid the window product because it does provide so much shorthand for what the resulting look is going to be. Um, but I think that in this case, the uh, window that they're uh, requesting, as long as the installation um, places it in the sash in the way that it was originally, I, I tend to have less concern about it than the product that was originally there, uh, I mean, originally proposed. Uh, as far as the this product itself is concerned, the part that would seem to be visible, Vasek, would be the sill, although uh, the installer sound made it sound that would be a, a low profile area. Um, and I, um, it sounds like the uh, called out half screens. Uh, do you have um, anything to offer in terms of uh, whether this is uh, substantially dis distinguishable from the other, as I believe it to be, to be one uh, worth embracing here? Uh, you're asking me to embrace a replacement window? <laughs> uh, well, I'm asking if you feel that it's uh, an improvement over what was originally uh, asked or requested for this property. Yeah. So if you take a look at page 18 of the, of the handout that Kim sent around. Uh, Let me go back to that. Thank yeah. you. In, on the top left corner, let me know when you get the page. Thank you. I'm on uh, 2019 and 18, thank 18. you. So the top left corner of the page, uh, there's a little, there's lots of right handwriting in there, but there's also something that says optional Anderson exterior stop, tr exterior trim stop cover. And if you look I at see. what that points to, it's I assume a piece of aluminum or some other for, uh, material that pretty much gives you a continuous cover for what is going, what the wind, the install that covers installation of the replacement sash or replacement window, uh, giving you a what looks like a flat stop at that point. Um, the original stop there is buried about an inch back. Uh, most people, I think, I think to most people, it would read very similar to what's there now. Um, the stops are going to be a little bit wider. The existing stop is probably a half inch, three quarters of an inch. And this is, I'm guessing, uh, on the order of an inch. Uh, that same 
feature is if you look at uh, the horizontal section of the window, that same feature is shown on the sides there also. Um, and again, the window is reduced by, the, the overall width is reduced by probably an inch or so on each side. Uh, but again, most people will simply see it as a wider stop as opposed to, gee, there's a lot of extra detail here that must be a replacement window. Did that make sense? Uh, is the document you're looking at 83 pages, Vasek? No, it's 91. Thank you. I have to look at the revised. But somehow I don't think that. Because because, because Kim stuck a bunch Doug, of. I'm sharing my it. screen. Oh, great! Thank you. I appreciate Just that. Direct me what page you want me to. Yeah, that one That's right it. there. Thank you. So that's the horizontal section. And what I was referring to was up near the top of this page. Yeah, right there, stop. On the left-hand side, it says optional Anderson exterior trim stop cover. Yes. Yeah, that piece of trim is what is substituting for the standard stop. And that looks like it's a uh, vertical uh, to the outside yeah. without without a bevel that would look like a storm window. So I exactly. kind of like that. It looks like a stop. Yeah, I the also like, I'm sorry. The difference is that that stop is within just a few fractions of an inch of the exterior of the trim, as opposed to recessed more. Sure. Um, yeah. I also like uh, at the bottom, it does appear to be a very low profile sill mm -hmm. on the exterior, yeah. uh, as opposed to one that's truly floating uh, that we see so often. Yeah, it's, it's floating by an eighth or a quarter of an inch that's not gonna be noticeable from the street. Well, and be, because it has the bevel, mm -hmm. it can, so. It's it, matching it's, the 14 degrees. Yeah. So in any case, um, I do realize that they are uh, replacement windows. Uh, my last question, Vasek, is uh, what is the um, finish on these? Is this a paintable window? Uh, looking at the cross sections, it looks like they're prop. Well, they're fiberglass composite. It says. Yeah, I see the fibrex. So, is it paintable? Sure. Is anybody ever going to paint them? I doubt it. Yeah. But you know, if it was but, me and I had to change colors, yeah, I could change colors. Well, and I think that in our experience, this is not a, a, a an aluminum style sheen. No. No, it's the it's the Fibrex composite. Right. So, thank you very much, everyone. I appreciate your time walking me through it. Thank you. Um, Nothing further, I'll call the motion. All those in favor of the approval with the stipulation say aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none, the motion carries. Application 5078, uh, 164 to 166 Main Street. May I have a motion? For the purposes of uh, discussion, I'll make a motion to uh, approve as uh, submitted. Can I, before I second for topic of conversation, sure. can I just make sure um, that Kim, the application now reads that the, um, I mean, he's verbally told us that the columns will be replaced like for like, but does the application actually say that? It will, it is reported in, um, it is recorded, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay, very good. I'll second it for topic of conversation then. Thank you. Thank you, Claire. So as I said before, I have, um, I, I think we talked quite a bit about the slate before. I guess what we need to do is poll to see uh, where the votes are on that roof. Ultimately, uh, I share the uh, feelings about that roof being distinctive and uh, 
and um, uh, something that uh, asphalt uh, would not replicate the look of. Uh, the question is, is would the most distinctive features of the house uh, still be there as a result of uh, this current application? And I believe that aside from the roof, they would be. Uh, so, um, well, to get this, to the point, okay. I guess, um, Claire and I have made our uh, feelings known, I think. The question is, if there's anyone, any of the members who are voting tonight, and that would include um, Damien, that would like to argue in favor of letting the slate roof go. Or not. So, um, I... I we have the other voters are uh, Vasek and Damien, or do we have more than that? That's all. Okay, Five I thought so. Nine. So where might you and uh, Damien fall on this, Vasek? I don't think that they, if anyone, uh, no one's made an argument in favor of letting it go yet, except maybe you gave the argument of why it could be let go. Right. Uh, I mean, I don't know that either of the other gentlemen feel that way, but if they don't, then we don't need to go much longer on this motion before calling a vote, or we could just call the vote now. Yeah, so my take on it is that slate roofs are something that one buys into when one buys the property. It's, uh, it's like buying a brick house and you end up with something that's basically maintenance, pretty much low maintenance for many, 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 many years. And at some point, you got to pay the piper. And it would be like somebody with a brick house in this town coming in and saying, oh, my brick needs repointing. I want to put vinyl siding up because vinyl siding is much cheaper than repointing the brick. And this is two or three or four generations have gotten away with uh, not doing any maintenance on, the pro on, the, on that item. And now somebody has to pay the piper. Uh, unfortunately, Mr. Dubois is in a position of owning the house when this roof, according to uh, the people he's talked to, is at end of life. Uh, and something needs to be done. Can it I be mean, repaired? Based, Possibly. It's based on what's be. seen there, it looks like it might be reparable. Yeah. It's still going to be expensive. It's still going to be more expensive than yeah. um, putting on an asphalt roof. And as is always the case, you know, we're certainly mindful of the expenses mm -hmm. um, associated with our older homes. But technically, we're not charged with the ability to actually consider it in our final decision making process. Um, and you're exactly right, Vasek. Um, you know, our, our unique elderly homes include some unique elderly home costs. The, you know, that said, there are certain elements on some, some buildings in this town that were put on that are really kind of neat, but are not appropriate for that for those buildings this is not the case in this case the roof is appropriate for the house uh, the house when it is renovated with the repaired porch and the repaired porch floor and all the other work that it needs needs doing is going to be absolutely spectacular i agree it's, it's in a prominent position in town it's going to be a showpiece. Uh, and, Thank you, Vasek. Yeah. Uh, um, for the record, I agree with Vasek. Doug, would you like to withdraw your motion? Or would you like us to call a sure. vote? Uh, no, I would draw the motion based on the poll. And thank you very much, everyone, for uh, engaging in that. I'll let someone else make the motion. I'd like to make a motion to approve with the following stipulations. The uh, porch to be repaired in kind with the vertical slats as submitted, including the, uh, I'm drawing a blank here, columns, columns. The second 
stipulation, I'm sorry, the second stipulation to retain the columns to replicate or replace in kind. Number three, to retain or repair the slate roof in kind. And number four, with the addition of the K gutter as submitted. So you don't need number four. Yeah, I just I wanted to make sure that was spelled out because I didn't necessarily see it on the okay. paperwork. Um, there. There's a picture, but okay. can I get a second? I'll second. Okay. So I think we've discussed it at length. Um, it, as Vasek said, you know, it, the roof really cannot be replaced adequately with the proposed shingle, architectural shingle. And I think that the house is really going to be spectacular when the balance of the work proposed is needed. Anyone else? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing and none. I'm not going to cast a vote. Thank you. Uh, and Doug is abstaining. With that, the motion carries. Application 5080. 165 Main Street. Make a motion to approve the application as submitted. I'll second. The applicants come in with an entirely appropriate sign. Uh, it's the, the business section of town. It's basically changing like for like with different words. I agree. Anyone else? All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Application 5081.13 Harmond Court. I have a motion. Make a motion to approve as submitted. I'll second. Uh, the applicant stated that the good side of the fence will be out and as was as indicated on the application also, uh, a four foot dog ear picket fence is entirely appropriate, certainly for that house in that area. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none, the motion carries. Application 5082, Great Meadows Conservation Trust. Oh, fine. I'd like to make a motion to approve as submitted. I'll second. I'll second. Obviously, we greatly appreciate the work of the Conservation Trust, and this fence is perfectly appropriate for the purpose proposed in its location. Anything further? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none, the motion carries. Application 5083, 55 Center Street. I'll make a motion to approve with the stipulation that the solar panels be only on the rear portion of the roof and that there be no conduit visible on the front. I'll second. If he can go back and talk and make that happen, then that's fine. You can't really see those panels from the back. But the side facing is very visible as you walk down Center Street. It's a very walked area. Um, and as I said during the public hearing, um, we try things and that's our job. Um, but the, I, I think that the solar panels on the house down the street are a failed experiment and not appropriate for the district. I agree, and I think that the um, these will even be more visible in some ways because of the multiple roof lines and different shapes. And of course, the conduit should never be run down the front of the house. I think that in itself impairs the historic character and appearance of the house and for the district. I think that you all have cited the important things uh, to consider here. Uh, it seemed like we had a salesperson who's open to um, um, considering what is discussed here tonight. So I appreciated that uh, he seemed to have an open mind. Hopefully the uh, homeowner will as well. I'll just note that uh, we encountered a similar situation to this on Avalon uh, and houses that uh, don't lend themselves to the uh, deployment on their front uh, tend to be the ones where I think uh, we can uh, make the claim of irreparable harm to the district uh, with a bit more confidence. So it's not lightly that we uh, didn't embrace this plan. Uh, I wanted the um, 
contractor to be aware of that. And should he talk further with Kim uh, or wish more input from the commissioners themselves? Uh, you know, I think we've tried to give some guidance tonight uh, where we think this uh, could go uh, if they're interested in uh, pursuing something. Thank you. Thank you. Um, all those in favor of approval with the stipulation say aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none, the motion carries. Application 508432 Hartford Avenue. I'll move to approve as submitted. I'll second. I think it's, the applicants I'm, coming in and proposing is entirely appropriate, uh, keeping in mind that this is an outbuilding. Uh, a barn can live just fine without windows. Um, and when they're removed and the siding is replaced uh, to match, I don't think there will be any difference as far as a impact on the district. I don't think that they were original to that spot anyway. I think it probably is more likely returning the barn to its original condition. Anything further? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none, the motion carries. Application 5085315 Garden Street. I'll move to approve as submitted. Uh, I'll second for discussion. Thank uh, you. You know, I, I think that this company's gotten good at um, <laughs> giving us what we want up front with the um, all the electrical, the conduits, and and the like um, on the interior, and they certainly have the the black um, flat without the silver lining or any of the uh, brackets or anything being black as well. Um, I do want to hear from everyone else about the view from the side street uh, and what your thoughts are on that. Uh, my feeling about the view from adjoining streets is that to a certain extent, uh, it's the back of the house. And so to, uh, you don't, uh, you know, we have to be conscious of an eyesore that would be so uh, outrageous as to impact that far away. But the expectations on the back of a house aren't the same as on the front. And I don't uh, consider the look offensive enough, uh, especially since it's a symmetrical installation, uh, even it's in its uh, slight asymmetry with the top panel. Uh, and that was my concern over trying to embrace uh, Claire's good suggestion uh, it was just that I knew that it would, based on the utilities, it would look like a patchwork on the shed roof. So I think I'd rather live with uh, what's proposed than uh, something else. I agree. I think I've made my uh, case for solar uh, before and that it is basically utility. Uh, it's on a secondary uh, facade of the house, unlike the previous application where it is the front facade. Um, I think that that's what makes a difference. When we we're pushing the other applicant for the back of the house, that's where we were going. We were looking to put a utility on a secondary facade of the building. You know, we've had difficulties with these streets off Garden Street before. Um, there was another application that came in where you could not see it from the front and it was visible from the back. Invisible, it was down closer to the um, railroad tracks, it was visible from the railroad tracks. Yeah. Um, my memory is that we denied that one. Um, it's tricky. It's tricky because there are little the streets. The one at the end of North Brick was approved once they made. Um, no. This was, you're, this, you're talking about, I think, on Kenwood, where you could see it, or Fernwood, or you could see it from the st one street over. From the street behind, yeah. Right. All right, anyone else? All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Opposed. Damien? Opposed. 
uh, the vote is three to two. The motion carries and the application is approved. App application 5086, Sharon Lane. Move to approve and submit it. I'll second. With the uh, contractor with us and the uh, great work of Kim, I think we um, were able to see that the installation uh, wouldn't provide a, a jarring result and hopefully will uh, encourage more use of the similar product um, on other areas of the building, since this is one of those projects where um, it isn't, it's being handled by the individual homeowners rather than the association. Anyone further? Hearing none, application is approved and submitted. I don't think we have the vote. <laughs> Aye. 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 Application is approved as submitted. <laughs> Washing hand. Uh, moving on to the approval of minutes of October 27. I think all of us were here except for Damien. Is that correct? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I have a motion. Uh, move to approve uh, the uh, minutes with the uh, proviso that we appreciate the efforts of our reporter, Linda, and our uh, coordinator, Kim. Thank you. I second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Kim, other business tonight? Do we have comments or general matters of the historic district? None. Any report? None. Correspondence? None. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hearing none of a motion to adjourn. I think it's worthy of saying on the record about uh, the fact that we're saying happy Thanksgiving uh, right. and that there won't be a, a, a noticed meeting until uh, December. That's correct. We currently have no applications um, slated for the week of Thanksgiving. So we will see everyone in December. December 8th. The only December, uh, that's the only meeting in December, isn't that right, Kim? That's right. So keep that in mind, everyone who's tuned in. Thank you so much, everyone. Good meeting, Jen. Motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Thank you, everyone. Bye, y'all. Thank you, Claire. Thank you, gentlemen. Bye-bye. Thank you much.